Hello, this information is for uh, the home builders. Uh, first of all, thank you to all the home builders for choosing Torshell to install your uh, tornado shelter safe room. And let's go with a, a quick uh, few steps to make things easier. The first one is going to be the location. The best location for a safe room, an above ground safe room, will be uh, inside the house where everybody can have access. And uh, among those uh, options, you can put it under the stairs, a four by six with the door on the short side, or you can put it uh, anywhere in a master closet or uh, inside, inside the master uh, bedroom. You can also put it uh, in somewhere near the kitchen or um, near the uh, garage, as long as it's inside, that will be a good option. The next one is gonna be when we are gonna be installing your tornado shelter, the safe room. Once you pour the concrete slab, uh, depending on the season, in the summer, we install them five to seven days after you pour the slab. That allows the concrete to uh, reach uh, uh, some maturity. And in the winter, we install them about 10 days. Um, that will be also depending on what kind of concrete you're going to be using. The next uh, aspect will be about uh, some improvements that we have done here at Torshell. Uh, as you know, the general uh, concrete slab, it's a uh, four inch, 3000 PSI. What we have done, an upgrade here, it's uh, we ask our builders to install 12 inches of concrete where the shelter is going to be installed. So here we got 12 inches deep and an area of one foot extra. So up to here and up to here, we got a foot in here too. Uh, we got 12 inches deep. And that way we got, ex we got extra, extra weight plus we can use a longer anchor. Uh, we can use a 10 inch anchor uh, here. The next one. Uh, however, if you got just the four inch slab, that works. That exceeds the FEMA guidelines, so you're, you're good with that. Uh, but if you want to add, uh, you want to be extra safe, we can add the 12 inches uh, anchor. The next one, it uh, will be, um, this one is a really important aspect because we, we run into a lot of issues like that. As you know, whenever you're building a house, it's really muddy and it's really difficult to access. As you can see here today, uh, we got a lot of mud and a lot of uh, dirt. So easily we can get stuck with our equipment. So if we got this situation and you have no way to avoid that, we're going to bring two trucks. One of the trucks is going to bring a ridge lift or a telehandler, a 4x4 telehandler. And that one is going to be an extra anywhere for from uh, $400 I mean, from $500 to $1,000, depending on your location. So, unfortunately, you know, the, the homeowner has to pay for that. So, if we want to avoid at all costs, you know, that extra expense. So, make, make sure that you leave us room for a tilt trailer in an area where it's dry for a tilt trailer to, lead, to reach the concrete slab. As you can see here, this is the tilt trailer that we brought. Um, and we reach the concrete slab here, and then we use these uh, iron cast wheels and the pallet jack to move the shelter all the way over there. So that is included in your price, and it's a really easy, easy way to move these uh, heavy duty safe rooms. So again, this is a really important aspect. Also, we don't want any wood or anything in the area where uh, we're going to be unloading the shelter because we're going to charge for that if we got to remove that. So make sure that there's no the area is clean and we can have access with this steel trailer. Um, the next uh, aspect will be when you can start the frame because we know that you want to start the frame like right away. Well, the, the answer is simple. You can start the frame as soon as you want, uh, maybe one day or two days after you pour the concrete uh, slab. However, you can, we suggest starting the frame from the back of this uh, house. Anywhere where it's not going to interfere with our job. So as you can see here, there's definitely clean, nobody's working here. But sometimes uh, we got the framers starting working on the back. And that's okay. As long as we have room to maneuver and push this shelter, we're okay with that. Um, again, you can start the frame pretty much immediately if you want to. 
However, the shelter for a better anchor system, we install them again five to ten days afterwards. And one last thing is about the frame. So as you can see here, we have a room for about six inches. Uh, we left this space here. So you can put the frame here, you can put frame here, uh, two by uh, fours. You can put the, uh, the sheetrock on this side, but not on the inside. And then on the top, on the cover, uh, you can put some uh, boxes to store things. Let's take a quick look inside of the shelter. The guys here are almost done here. So as you can see, this is, uh, these are the anchors that we were talking about. We got a, a three quarter inch, you get a three quarter inch by 10 inches deep, one anchor every 12 inches. So here we got 13. So we multiply, we got uh, 20,000 pounds of pull-off capacity per anchor. We're looking at about 250, over 250,000 pounds pull-off capacity. And this is the shelter, this is the safe room. It comes with uh, these uh, spaces for brackets. It's six feet, four inches tall. We can make them bigger. As you can see, you, it has all this reinforcement as well. Uh, it comes with a bullet resistant window, so people can see out. This is the air intake. This is also a wheelchair accessible door. Here's the door. It's a heavy duty door. It has these uh, three heavy duty hinges and these are the locking mechanisms here. So, as you can see, it's really impossible to open this uh, um, safe room. Rated for EFI Tornado. So, um, there you go. If you need more information, please give us a call or uh, visit our website for more information, www.torshell.com. Thank you very much.